So I've connected his camera to uh, HDMI up to my TV right there. Now I'm, uh, I'm going to begin and take off this cover here. See, here we go, I'm snapping it off right there. It just snaps off all the way around. You need to keep on going. There we go. Here's the, uh, the little the cover right there. Got my pliers, got my cloth. The cloth is gonna go over the lens. Let's try it again. There we go. Unscrew it now. The lens is coming out now. All right, got that. The inside where the uh, the lens unscrewed and here's your uh, your infrared filter and i'll just use a uh, an exacto knife type of thing and i'll chip away at it and that little lens underneath it it's not going to fall out so don't worry about that but um just make sure you don't leave any glass pieces and specks on there you want to make sure it's clean and don't scratch it so just be careful with that all right see what i've done i've chipped at it and i'm gonna peel off the rest with my fingernails and then uh I'll go in there and blow that out, clean it off, and just make sure that there's no residue that's gonna interfere. I chipped most away. That little piece on the, on the left right there, that's not bad. I'm not worried about that. And those little crumbs, you know, I'll try to dust that off before I screw the lens back on. I wanna try to scrape off some of this glue here. Problem with it is this glue isn't like the old one with the SJ4000 where it's like a silicone. Uh, yeah, try using your fingernails and peeling that off. It doesn't work. Some of that glue is going to stay in the grooves there, but I'm going to use a knife and I'm going to flatten it out as much as possible. It'll screw in much easier. I went all the way around it, you know, with my knife and I kind of flatten it out as much as possible. And you want to be careful and make sure you line it up straight. You'll notice it will screw in quite easy. See, if you over tighten, it gets blurry, see? So, you want to connect it to HDMI to a TV, that looks pretty good. We snap this uh, bad boy back on, right? Real easy. Spin it over. Click. And now we're, we're back to normal. Let's do a quick test, though. And here's infrared. There you go. Generally, what we do is uh, we make the video black and white because with this SJ cam, we don't like that purple look. Yeah, not everybody likes it. I surely don't. <laughs> well, purple, pink, you know, kind of whatever you think it is. But I'm going to show you what we have done and maybe you can... Uh, use some of these ideas. It was actually just a UV filter. That's all it was when I bought it. And I bought some filter paper that we used to mod our flashlights to make them infrared only. Well, I bought, it's over there, uh, right there, Lee filters. It's just a little sample pack. So you take this and you put it over the lens. Downside is it doesn't fit over the SJ Cam Legend, but it fits over the SJ4000 and it'll fit right over there well that's a nice ugly filter right very ugly well you got to use it outside <laughs> that makes a difference so i'm gonna right now is when i'm gonna add some pictures to the end of the video of various filter colors and how it looks so thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe so Here's a uh, simple test. This is infrared light coming through the window using a green, forest green filter. Here's my Christmas lights. Uh, I don't know if you can see the, that they, they change from color to white and they all look green, I guess. I don't know. But, um, right? Now, when you're not using uh, infrared light, See, here's uh, fluorescent lighting in my game room. So uh, they don't really produce a lot of infrared. So uh, that's, this is very uh, 
Interesting, isn't it? Infrared. Coming through the windows, obviously. See? No infrared. Now to do some pictures outside. 